And here we have it, man. The top five action movies of all time from your sister H. So may agree, some may disagree, but this is just my list, and I will give you compelling arguments to why I feel these are the top five action movies ever made. So without further ado, let's get to it. So number five. The Matrix, um, one of the most influential films of all time, um, a film that brought new action concepts into the action movie genre, and a film that was mimicked, copied numerous times, um, years subsequently. You know, because I mean, because this was a difficult one, me putting the, the Matrix in there because people will say, isn't it much more sci-fi? Isn't it much more philosophical? Which is true because this isn't just a pure action movie. I would class this as action sci-fi with a bit of um, philosophy in there. But you cannot deny the groundbreaking action set pieces that were invent invented by not only the Wachowskis, but specifically John Gator. I mean, you have to look at the lobby scene, which was inspired by Hard Hard Ball, but the way in which that was done... They were inspired by Hannibal, but they took it to the next level in this with the fact of filming, framing, the destruction of the environments around them and how the environments and gunplay were both interplayed. Also, it was a groundbreaking in the sense of seeing Hollywood movie actors actually do the action themselves. Nobody had ever seen that before. You have to remember, before the first Matrix, whether it was a Tom Cruise, whether it was a Denzel Washington or so forth, there was always... A body double, a stunt double with lots of cuts. But this was different in the sense that the Wachowski said, Keanu, Karian Moss, Hugo Weaving, Lawrence Fishburne, you will spend six months training because the camera is going to be on you. We will hold it upon you. We will pan towards you. There will be no cuts whatsoever. These will be long takes. And obviously with the genius when we will pen, that was achieved. And what can we say about bullet time? Bullet time changed the, 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 the game. The amount of films, even films that I did as a kid, utilized bullet time. It was one of the most memorable moments in cinematic history. So for that reason, I just think The Matrix gets and ends this number five spot. Number four. Last Action Hero. Now people will say, whoa, whoa, whoa what the heck? <laughs> Last... What? Last Action Hero is an incredible film. Um, directed by the genius, action genius that is John McTiernan. And the reason why I put Last Action Hero here is because of the way in which it puts a mirror on the action movie genre and puts a mirror upon the action movie star. And it stars the greatest action movie star of all time, your boy Arnold Schwarzenegger. So the beauty of Last Action Hero is, despite just obviously being a very good action film, it is the way in which it dissects and looks at the action movie genre and the brilliant, amazing screenplay that has so many golden nuggets is what just adds to, to this. So the reason why I have to I put this on this list is because it's it is the only film that gives an interesting, sarcastic investigative look and deconstruction and dissection of action movies and people who are action movie jun junkies and hardened action movie guys will look at this and be like oh my gosh this is amazing because so many things that you see in action films are commented on and are represented in a way in this film but the beauty of the last action here is that yes it is a comedy yes it is putting a mirror upon action movies and what they're about and breaking down those archetypes and investigating those archetypes. But beyond that, it is still a damn good action movie with a damn good performance by Tom Noonan. That guy was scary. So for that reason, I am rolling in the last action hero in the, in the number four spot. Number three. John Wick, chapter Two. Now, people will say, yo, 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 what about John Wick Chapter 1? That was the, the real one. John Wick Chapter 1 was, was money. I'll give you that. John Wick Chapter 1 was money. It was a really, really good film. But John Wick Chapter 1 was just the starter. 
January chapter 2 was the full-on main course. I think everything that we saw in January chapter 1 was doubled, tripled, and quadrupled in January chapter 2. In terms of the way in which the, um, the action choreography was done, Chance the Helsky just directed the heck out of, uh, out of this film. Of course, we're starring the amazing Ken Ritz, who is superb at learning and memorizing very complicated um, stunts and fights choreography. So just the way in which you saw extremely long takes, extremely, trust me, extremely complicated fight sequences in different locations. I just think that this was just an absolute orgasmic journey of an action film, you know, so in terms of just, you know, martial arts, gunplay, gun flu, hand-to-hand -hand combat, the way in which Chad Stahelski was able to do this and what he achieved on this film makes this, for me, an absolute superb action masterpiece. And also, it was not only quality of action, but the quality of the story and how the story and the action both married well to, to together, I felt was an, an incredible advancement on a very good John Wick Chapter 1. But as good as John Wick Chapter 1 was, John Wick Chapter 2 for me was just mm, action ecstasy. So John Wick Chapter 2 gets that to number 3 spot. Number 2. Harder Boiled. Probably one of the most influential action movies of all time. No hardballed, there is no Matrix, there is no John Wick Chapter 2, you know, and there are probably not a lot of action films. What John Woo was able to introduce back in the early 90s was him saying we can take action films to the very next level. That filming action is an art. It is a, an art form. And there, are, there is so much more that we can do with action films that wasn't done in the 80s or in the 70s. Because before hardballed, action films were, let's just keep it real, pretty plain, pretty simple, you know, cuts here, cut the action there. But John Woo gave a sexiness, a mystique, a, an elegance to action films and pretty much heightened the, the way in which action films could, could be shot from the usage of twin guns, filming an action scene, the things happening within an, an action scene, and just the way in which he would go from action set piece to action set piece and, do, and just actually painting a picture of an action set piece was just done to an incredibly high degree. Hence why so many Hollywood directors were like, oh, wow, that's the reason why he was given Mission Impossible too, because people were like, no, this is a game changer in terms of the, the action movie genre. And look, man, just for that hospital scene alone in the hardball, amazing. So just based on the influence it's had on the genre, Hardball gets number two. And number one. The greatest action movie of all time is The Matrix Reloaded. Now, people will say, whoa, 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 whoa what the hell? The, the, the Matrix Reloaded, I still feel that a film that came out in 2003 is way advanced beyond its years. Similar to John Wick Chapter 2, The Reloaded took everything we saw in The Matrix and <laughs> it took it to the flipping stratosphere. The greatest car chase of all time. The greatest fight choreography scene of all time. The amount of action that was put in this film was relentless. But not only was it relentless, not only was it done to a crazy extent, the quality of the action was incredible. The um, advancements in technology, the technological advancements of Neo fighting those hundreds of Smiths was incredible how they pulled that off. The greatest fight choreography in any action film of all time is the Chateau scene. Hands down. The greatest car chase of all time is in this film, film as well. Because what the Wachowskis were able to do was, and this is what many people find very hard to do, mix technology and CGI with real effects. So because there's a lot of CGI in there, but it is filmed so well, it is done so well, and it is so seamless, you don't feel like if you're just watching a video game. It is a perfect balance that they um, are able to achieve of the digital world and the real world as well. So just in terms of just the filming of action, the execution of the action, 
the intensity of the action and the story that gives the action that extra kick because action is nothing without an, a compelling story where you really care about what is happening. Those things married together for me makes this hands down the greatest action movie of all time. So guys, that is my top five. Comment below, tell me what you think. Do you agree or disagree? And let's just have a discussion about this. And stay tuned for more top fives from your boy, HH. I'm out.